Hi guys, welcome back. As we all know, COVID-19 is a respiratory illness currently affecting the people of Ireland. In order to protect ourselves and stay safe, we need to follow the following guidelines. We must remember it's so important to wash our hands correctly. You can pause on this slide to have a look at a step-by-step -step guideline on how to wash your hands properly. It's also really important to cover your cough and sneeze appropriately to prevent the spread of germs. When you cough or sneeze, cover your nose and mouth with a tissue or cough or sneeze into your elbows, not your hands. Make sure you clean your hands after coughing or sneezing. Please watch our YouTube videos on hand hygiene and cough and sneeze etiquette for more details and step-by-step -step guidelines. For today's art activity, we'll be making under the sea jellyfish. We will use a fruit cup lid to create our first jellyfish. These are the materials you're going to need. A clear fruit cup lid, PVA glue, a Q-tip, tin foil, paint, a scissors, a pipe cleaner, bits of wool or fabric, a marker and a sponge. Step one, trace your fruit cup lid on the tin foil with a marker. Step two, cut out the tin foil circle with the scissors. Don't forget to ask for help if you need it. Step three, PVA glue the inside of the fruit cup lid using a sponge. Step four, PVA glue one side of the tin foil using the sponge. Step five, place the wool or material across the glued part of the tin foil like so. Step six, stick the material covered tin foil to the inside of the fruit cup lid. Step seven, press the tin foil down to stick it to the inside of the cup. Step eight, using a scissors, pierce a hole in the top of the fruit cup lid. Be very careful and if you need assistance, don't forget to ask. Pop a pipe cleaner through the hole and twist it around to create a loop at the top. Step nine, Dip your Q-tip in your choice of paint and create a design on the body of the jellyfish. The jellyfish is now ready to hang up. You can also create a few different types and hang them together. We're now going to show you how to make a paper plate jellyfish, like the one you see in this picture. The materials you'll need are as follows. A paper plate, some scissors, crap paper, PVA glue, tin foil, a marker, and strips of fabric. Step one, using a scissors, cut the paper plate in half. Don't forget to ask for help if you need it. Step two, using a scissors, cut wavy strips into the folded crepe paper, like so. Step three, unfold your crepe paper and using a scissors, cut into strips to make the tentacles. Step four, sponge some PVA glue along the straight side of your paper plate. Step five, place the strips of crepe paper on top of the glue to make your tentacles. Step six, 
Step 6. Add some strips of material of your choice to the glue. We've chosen to use some fringe material to add a bit more texture to our tentacles. This is what your jellyfish should look like so far. Step 7. Use your sponge to paint your paper plate with your choice of colour. We've chosen a bright blue for our jellyfish. Once painted, this is what your jellyfish should look like. Step 9. Using a Q-tip and some paint of your choice, make a dot design on the paper plate. After making your pattern with the Q-tip, this is what your jellyfish should look like. Step 10. Add your choice of glitter to make the jellyfish sparkle. Step 11. Draw two circles on a piece of tinfoil. We used a round container to draw two perfect circles. Step 12. Cut the two circles out using a scissors. Again, if you need assistance, please do ask someone at home for help. Step 13. Using some PVA glue and a sponge, glue the two tinfoil circles onto the paper plate. This creates a pair of eyes for our jellyfish. Step 14. Use a marker to draw pupils on the tinfoil circles as seen in this clip. And there you have it. Two jellyfish ready to hang in your home or garden. Thanks for watching everyone, hope to see you next time.